This is my audience. <clears throat> Imagine a natural disaster has just occurred, leaving you without access to clean drinking water. Survival becomes a priority, and the most critical need is clean water. But what can you do when your usual sources are unavailable or contaminated? Many of us have not experienced such a situation, but the reality is that emergencies and disasters occur unexpectedly. Knowing how to purify water in such scenarios could be the difference between life and death. Understanding the different methods of emergency water purification is crucial for everyone, not just survivalists or disaster preparedness enthusiasts. Today, I will discuss why water purification is essential in emergencies, the different methods of water purification and resources available for emergency water purification. Importance of water purification in emergencies. Clean water is a vital source, is vital for survival. According to the US Geological Survey, the human body is about 60% water and needs a constant supply to maintain bodily functions, such as digestion, blood circulation, and temperature regulation. In emergencies, regular sources of clean water may be contaminated due to hazardous materials bacteria, or parasites in the water supply. The World Health Organization reports that waterborne diseases such as cholera, typhoid fever are dominant in disaster-stricken areas and can cause severe illness and death if left untreated. Now that we understand the importance of clean water in an emergency, let's explore how we can achieve that. Boiling is the simplest and most accessible method. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention recommends boiling water for at least one minute to kill most types of pathogens. Chloration uses household bleach or purification tablets to kill bacteria and viruses. However, it's essential to use the correct amount to avoid harmful side effects. The distillation method involves boiling water and then collecting the condensed steam. This method is effective, but requires a significant amount of time and energy. The filtration method can be achieved using a portable water filter or a homemade one using layers of cloth, sand, and charcoal. Solar disinfection, recommended by the World Health Organization, involves leaving a clear plastic or glass container of water in the sun for a minimum of six hours. Having understood the methods, let's explore some resources that can help us purify water in emergencies. Resources for emergency water purification. Portable water filters are compact, efficient, and widely available in camping stores and online. They can filter out most bacteria, parasites, and particles. Water purification tablets are lightweight and easy to carry and effective at killing most pathogens. However, they do have a short shelf life and must be replaced regularly. DIY resources for, for filtration, bleach, bleach for disinfection, and even sunlight for disinfection can be used with proper knowledge and technique. Today, we delve deeper into the importance of water purification in emergencies, the various methods available and the resources at our disposal. Being prepared is crucial in any emergency. Knowing how to purify water can mean the difference between life and death. In conclusion, I hope that you might, I hope that you now not only understand the importance of water purification in emergencies, but also feel equipped to handle such situations should they arise.